Sorry about that. Hey guys, my name is CGH Gaming, and today I'm back with another F1 2016 video. Before I get into this video, this is the fourth race of the season. Again, the third race. Did not record, the same as the Australian. So, you've had the Bahrain Grand Prix, there was the Chinese Grand Prix, and then there's this, but the Chinese one didn't record. So, anyway, let's get into the video. As you can see, we're, we're starting on pole, and it's also raining, so it's intimate, intermediate conditions. And already, there's a Ferrari that's parked out, trying to get in, in the background, but we've made a really good ex start coming down to the second corner, because the corner we've just gone through is actually classed as a corner on this track, as the first corner. But I'm just going to call that, that we've just gone through the first corner. And we're coming around this long, fast, paced left hander. Lose the back end a bit there. Under braking. Trying to rejoin the track. Try to push Vettel out a bit wide. Try to look up the inside, but Vettel went defensive. Uh, not Vettel, Raikkonen went up defensive up the inside and we're trying up the inside of the Mercedes of Rosberg I think yeah. going a little bit wide on that corner the braking conditions aren't the best considering it's raining got to brake a bit more so it's not the best now down a long back straight with a little curve at the end which you're just about to see Young. There we go. Breaking as hard as we could, but we broke too late, which means we're going to lose some positions. I think here. No, we we just managed to get back in first. But in the mirrors, you can see the Ferrari of Kimi Raikkonen like looming behind us. First Kane, everyone gets through there nicely. Now down to the second to last corner. No trouble here. A pretty clean first lap, apart from a couple of times going wide under braking. But round the first corner. See my helmet. Breaking as hard as we can. At the hundred and fifty meter board. Now the long right, left hand, left hander, yeah. Fast pace, but in the rain you can only go 130 miles an hour. Otherwise you go like that. And I actually lost the back end a bit there. And didn't break until I hit the board. But then we act rejoining the track. We actually hit the Ferrari of Kimi Raikkonen. Which actually gives up, like makes our, we lose half a front wing and damage the rest. Sergio Perez goes a bit slow down that corner, which makes my teammate Pascal Verline easy to get and over get hit, gives him an easy overtake. Go a bit wide there because of the front wing giving us less, giving us a bit of understeer. Sorry about that. A bit wide again. We are going to have to come into the pits, but hopefully this doesn't put us down very far. We're in sixth place at the moment, but we could st we could have stayed out. But this front wing is just too much trouble. Look, we're losing more time than we're gaining, so it'd be faster just the pit. Entering the pit lane because of the front wing, we go a little bit wide, but we're getting eventually. Let's hope the Mana team can give us a good, fast pit stop. Change the front wing as well. Hopefully, it's still quite fast. It's also also going to put us on a new 
clean set of intermediate tyres, so we're going to be a bit faster than the AI. And it's got eight second pit stops, so not the best, but it's not the worst. And now the pit lane en en exit is a long one. But we do actually go over the white line for the pit stop, but we do. We don't rejoin last because Carlos Sainz in the Toro Rosso has had an engine problem, so he's far down. And we, there was actually a collision with a Sauber, and I think a Haas. As we oversteer a bit there, trying to correct ourselves, leaving track because we're under braking again because the tyres are still cold. Now we're trying to hunt down Perez. Getting a good exit, good, but then trying to correct ourselves for a little bit of wheel spin, losing the back end while hitting the curb there. Only slightly though, good control though. Going over the sausage curb there slows us down a little bit, but not too much. Now it's Mercedes versus Mercedes power engine. Down the back straight. Gonna try it. Up the inside. Are we gonna be we do it? We managed to get to twentieth place. Now we got the Williams and Valtteri Bottas. It he just stops and lets us pass. What a kind racer. I think he actually goes a bit wide there. Now we've got no, this should be an over easy overtake on the Salva. Which it is. We do force them out a bit wide though. But And now we've actually got Vettel. Who actually parked on the grass on the first lap. He managed to get back onto the track. He's actually fighting with Kavia, which is gonna slow them both down. And we're gonna try and get a double overtake. And we're actually we're gonna do it. We're going to get a double overtake on Vettel and Kvyat. And now we've got Julian Palmer in front of us. Slowing us a bit, like, a bit down. Because you can't you can't really overtake on this section. But we try it up the inside. We have to cut the corner a little bit. And make our exit a good exit. But other than that, it was a good overtake. And now, we're a couple of seconds behind. The next car. So trying to get like get as gain as much time as possible through these corners. So hopefully it is possible to be able to catch the Renault of Magnussen. Good corner in from us. We're, we're gaining time from Vettel. He's losing time on us. And we're also catching up to the... Renault. Could this be? Let's stop here. Do you think we could win this race? I hopefully we can. As Magnussen actually goes, has a really bad corner there. But we can't really overtake. It's going to be a tricky overtake if we try and overtake him here. Using as much slipstream as possible. And we're going to try up the inside. Losing the back end a bit. But we're up the inside. Losing the back end and the curb there as well. Let's see if we can catch up to the house of Gutierrez. As quick as possible. Let's see, like, slowing down. I see what 
we're in let's see from first person we're currently in 13th position so hopefully we can try and get 12th our race director wants us to get second but I don't know if that's going to happen maybe we could have won this race if we didn't have that contact with Kimi Raikkonen but what happens happens we try out round the outside but he managed to he, it goes defends up the inside so we had to go forced out to the outside going a bit wide around that corner now it down the inside of the chicane no he blocks us again he goes a bit slow though around that so he had to break as much as possible now we're just going to get past him with ease with a straight line speed and he has to slot right behind us but he's not giving up he's trying to look up the entire side but it's no fighting our car is just too powerful and too fast for him to bat be able to battle us Quite far behind last place, but we are actually putting in the fastest laps of the race, so it is promising to be able to get us near enough to the As we can just see that the next car isn't just in front of us. So hopefully we'll be able to catch up. So let's see if we're able to catch up to Sergio Perez and that four car train in front of him. Hopefully we'll be able to. We do have a bit of bad exit there though. Just see the hath in the background. Just coming around the chicane. I think we might be able to get the forced India on the straights on the street here. So we're using slipstream because the DRS is deactivated because of the rain. We try and look about the outside but he go he's going so slow when we rejoin the track there that we actually have to break and we have a little bit of contact but we don't have any damage which is good. But we easily get past him. Now we just got there. As we actually have contact with the Williams of Felipe Massa. Losing the back end and the brake in there. Not the best. About. And we've got we try and we straight our straight line speed get past the mana. No mana. We are the mana. Get past the hass. We're gonna try it up the inside. But that turns into the outside. But we do it before. And when we had that contact with the Force India, we do uh, we did actually lose some wi of our wing, but it didn't not affect us at all. So it was all good. As Max Verstappen second place is just seventh place, I mean. Just in front. Mm. Try 
trying to use as much of our straight line speed as possible to get away from the Haas. And catch up to the Red Bull. As you there, you can see. Now along this fast left-hander. Trying not to lose as much speed as possible. And be as fast as possible. So if I'm a bit quiet at the moment. But we are gaining time and gaining road on Max Verstappen. And the car's in front of him. That's actually my teammate. He's in front. Pascal Wehrlein is in sixth place. So let's see if we can overtake him. But first, we've got to dispose of Max Verstappen. So on the back of this back straight, the Red Bulls aren't as fast as us in the wet. Try and use as little road as possible. As we're like, as we're really close. Had a look at the inside, but we didn't do it. Let's see if we can get more straight line speed down here. But no, we're just going to slot up the inside. We did have a little bit of contact. But that does not affect us any bit. If I go if I go silent in a sec, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to get as much as we have. Like, so you can see our teammate in front of us. as we try and show that we're in the mirrors to make him worry so about but we're going to try it around the inside of the next corner but actually it's the back straight but he actually holds us off pushing us out a bit wide but we're going to go straight up the inside into sixth place A, we do go a bit wide there though, which is going to help Pascal get a bit of ground on us. But we have the two manners. No, I keep saying manners, I don't know why. We've got the two McLarens in front of us. Button is the, is the one in front of us. And we have Alonso. These, they do both have really bad straight line speed, so hopefully we can get past them on this straight. With ease, hopefully, at least. As we're disposing of Button, he does squeeze us out a little bit, though. But we squeeze him out. We have a little bit of contact. Our rear, rear, rear left wing will against his wing. But we get we dispose of the McLarens with ease. In going into turn two. As we go off the ground, off the track again, I need to stop doing that, otherwise I'll end up getting a penalty. It's just it's so hard to control this car after coming around that corner. I don't know where the next car is, but he's quite far up the road, I guess. Because we can't see him, so. As we do actually get told that the rain is going to end 
in five minutes time which is going it's going to stop with two laps to go but we're not going to we're going to just going to stay out on the inters so that we don't lose any positions because it's not really worth it because you can see the track just drying up as fast as it like it's getting wet but it's drying up as soon as it like the car goes past like the wetter it gets the drier it gets if you get what I mean if you don't then don't worry but anyway c coming up to the last okay we do have the two Mercedes in front of us this is going to be the hardest as these two cars are the fastest cars on, out of everyone but they're not actually winning they're third and second Rosberg is the third, third is in third and Hamilton's in second with Reichen in pole uh, first then it's going to take us at least one lap just to catch up to these guys but we are actually in fourth so hopefully we can get past them and into a podium position before the end of the race if not that's going to be really bad as we don't actually go wide that time trying to use as much of the curb as possible to gain as much time as possible on two Mercedes because as much like any time you can get with the Mercedes is valuable time valuable time like you gain one second you gain like you're one second closer So let's see. We are catching up to them really fast. So hopefully we are able to get past them before next lap. But if not, second, third, fourth place coming from practically last is good enough but we're trying to look up the inside of Rosberg decent overtake I know we're going to use straight like slipstream and straight line speed on Hamilton just on this game slipstream is like just OP as hell we squeeze him out onto the curb a little bit but we're in the second place mm, Raikkonen is so far ahead I don't think we're actually going to be able to catch him Unless it's actually the last couple of corners of the Grand Prix. Just trying to gain as much time on the Ferrari as possible. He is so far ahead that there's just no winning. Look, he's already onto the back straight. We're in, like we're now just getting to the back straight. So only time will tell. If we're actually going to get the puddle first. We had a good start. But it's just that collision with Raikkonen that put us down into 22nd place after the pit stop. Which screwed us over. But we fought and we fought hard. From We're now in 2nd place from 21st. We're getting, gaining time on Kimi Raikkonen. As we're coming actually onto the last lap, I think this is. You can see the theme park in the background, or in the foreground. Using as little track as possible to get as much speed as possible. 
Going 207 miles an hour. That's the braking zone. We nearly lose the back end again going around that corner. So then we coming up to the back straight, the corner just before back straight. I think this is. Under the bridge. As we are getting really close to the back of Kimi Raikkonen. Round the chicane. Are we going to be able to do it? I think this might be the last lap. So we have two corners to get pole, pole, first place. We can't try and cut the corner as much as possible, hitting the sign. But we're not going to be able to do it. Kimi Raikkonen has won. I think, at least. No, no I don't listen to any of what I've just said. He did. He actually, yeah, listen to that. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I f didn't realise. But anyway. We. Come in second place after. Uh, starting on pole. Which, second place, not the best. When you've gone wide so many times on cold tyres, come back onto the track, get hit, break your front wing off, half the pit, get dropped down to 22nd place, and get second. That is a great drive from us today. But um, that is the end of this Grand Prix. That's the end of the video. And I've so I've been CJ's gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.